For more than 25 years, since he was a teenager, Joel Castone has lived in a lockup. He's serving a life sentence for murder and is now housed at the D.C. jail. But this fall, he's doing something he once thought could only happen on the outside. He's voting. So like the kid on Christmas Day, you know, you, you unwrap the, the gift and then you, you eager to know what's inside. We first met Castone last year inside the jail where he mentors younger men preparing to reenter society. Speaking to the I-Team remotely this month, Castone says casting a ballot is a breakthrough moment in that process. Being able to vote for me and many of us, it is a pathway to citizenship, full citizenship. After the D.C. Council expanded voting rights to felons still in lockup, jail director Quincy Booth says his team has been working to bring them up to speed. There were individuals that had been in the Bureau of Prison and came back, and so for them, a lot of this was foreign information, and so they needed to get the information because their belief was that they were not eligible to vote. They're technically voting by mail, and Booth says those ballots are not opened by correctional staff. They're sent directly to the D.C. Board of Elections. Of course, we would be ecstatic in the event that everyone who's eligible registers uh, to vote and exercises that right. Inmates are encouraging each other to vote, too. Look closely behind Castone, and you'll see notes and reminders on the dry erase board inside the jail complex. Excited. My guys are excited. We all are excited. But it's not your typical election atmosphere. Due to COVID-19 concerns, candidates cannot come inside to campaign, and political signs are not allowed inside either. Just official voting materials from the Board of Elections. So we asked Castone, who's spent much of the past 30 years out of state in a federal lockup, how he knows whom to choose. We are avid news watchers here. You know, we, we read the newspaper, we watch the local news daily. So oh, I think that... Contrary to what many may think in society, uh, the incarcerated population are heavily invested in what's going on in the political sphere. Before this month's deadline, D.C. jail officials are trying to register the incarcerated felons here and those awaiting trial. And that's a tall order because the jail population changes every day with inmates being transferred and being released. They want to make sure they don't fall behind registering the voters here behind bars. In Southeast D.C., Scott McFarland, News 4 IT. The D.C. jail has registered more than 300 inmates in its care for this year's elections. And a spokesman for the D.C. Board of, of Elections rather, tells the I-Team about 400 D.C. inmates in federal prisons have also registered.